What's up guys, Stephen Cult of Mac here, and with less than one week to go till the 2018 WWDC keynote, Apple has dropped its general release of iOS 11.4. While you might have seen all of my previous videos guiding you through all of the betas, I wanted to give you one final overview of everything that's new in iOS 11.4. Let's get started. So there's a couple of new big features in iOS 11.4 that Apple have teased for a long time. Firstly, there's messages in the cloud. iMessage syncing was already pretty good, but it had its limits. One is that if you set up a new device, then you would not be able to see any of your old messages or conversations. Another is, if you deleted a message on one device, it would still be present on others. iCloud Sync for Messages fixes all of these problems as it now stores them all in one central spot, the same way the iCloud Photo Library works. The best thing about this is, if you're a serial messenger, storing your messages in the cloud could save a ton of space. If you already have two-factor authentication enabled on your iCloud account, then messages in iCloud will probably be enabled by default. Once you've got iOS 11.4 installed, you can check by going to Settings, tapping the banner at the top of the Settings app with your name on it, then iCloud and looking at the list of services you have enabled. Within there, there's a new entry for messages where you can toggle it on or off. On top of keeping your messages organised across all of your iOS devices, Messages in the Cloud also helps if you restore your iPhone from a backup in the cloud or if you set up a new iPhone or iPad. The same way it would bring all of your apps, emails, calendars and so on. The next big update is the addition of AirPlay 2, which brings multi-room audio capabilities, as well as HomePod stereo pairing. AirPlay 2 brings multi-room functionality to any of your compatible devices, such as HomePods, Apple TVs, along with certain Sonos and Name speakers, to name just two. If you're interested to see what speakers are compatible, I'll leave a link in the description to a list Apple has put on their website. In addition to multi-room, AirPlay also allows you to stereo pair two HomePods together for left and right channels, which is a feature many HomePod owners have been waiting for since its release. You can set up a stereo pair in the Home app as long as they've been updated. Unfortunately, I've only got one HomePod at this moment in time, so I can't try that out. Speaking of the HomePod, there's also new Siri commands, so you can say, play the latest episode of the Cult Cast in the bedroom. So Siri can now work with rooms and speakers you've set up within the Home app. And the HomePod also now supports the Calendar app, which is super handy. While iOS 11.4 only really has two new features, they are very welcome additions that have been well worth the wait. As always, there's also bug fixes and improvements in performance. For example, a lot of people have been saying that Face ID is quicker on the iPhone X now, which isn't something I've noticed, but if you've already got iOS 11.4 on your iPhone X and you have noticed a change, let me know in the comments section down below. And there's also some new wallpapers for the product red iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Apple has already gone ahead and released a developer beta of iOS 11.4.1 but there appears to be no noticeable changes, making it likely to be further bug fixes and speed improvements, perhaps even for the slightly older iOS devices. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.